Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of LS PDFR. Today, I'm going to do a little patrol in the city of Los Santos with a unmarked 2012, 13, 14, whatever year Dodge Charger by Carparino. The link will be in the description along with all the other mods I'm using. So I just decided to do a quick little patrol in the uh, Los Santos city area. Don't really have an area that I'm going to stay. I'm just going to kind of try to go all over. So we'll kind of just drive around anywhere, uh, not really stick into one area. And uh, we'll see what other kind of calls we can come across as we uh, as we patrol. Oh, we got a kidnapping in progress instantly. Okay. Why don't we have our lights on? All right, let's go try to catch up to this kidnapping in progress. Literally, oh, it's up on the highway. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and try to... Oh, God, are they just booking it out of the, out of the city? Because that's going to be a problem if they are. We need to get over there and across and up onto the freeway, which is going to be a little bit of an issue. Might have some responding officers here. These guys might be going to the same call we are. Let's see. Oh, God, they're going to murder somebody. Yeah, it definitely looks like they're just getting out of the city. We need to go catch up to them. Oh, come on. Oncoming lanes. All right, call of a kidnapping. No description on the vehicle. Oh, God. God, I knew those people were going to do something ridiculous. Oh, okay. Get on the highway. They are moving it right now. We really gotta catch up to them. They are flying. Watch out. Coming through. Oh god, we're going fast. We need to get over in the left lane, make people pull off to the right. There we go. We should be able to get this guy off on the right. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, they exited. They exited. Oh. God, we are going way too quick. Oh, we got a motorcycle here. Police motorcycle. He must be in the pursuit. Or he just disconnected from the pursuit or dropped off. Are we pulling back? Is that it? Yep, here's another car right here. We might have just lost them. Is this another police car right here? No. Oh, uh, I think we might have lost the suspects. I'm pretty sure we did. Because they are nowhere on the map. That sucks. That really sucks. They were flying. We could not catch up to them. They were going extremely fast. I mean, Jesus. Uh, that's what happens, I guess. I mean, we weren't able to go catch back up to them, so they were unfortunately able to get away, but we'll keep an eye out. There's some very strong, looks like tail lights over here. We'll check. I don't know. We'll search the area. We're going to see if we see anything suspicious or if we get another call. All right, we just got reports of a stolen vehicle spotted in El Burro Heights on uh, El Burro Boulevard, which is where we currently are. Looks like it's coming around this way. Whoa, that's probably going to be it. Jesus, what the heck? Uh, this guy must be intoxicated. He's not going to stop. We're already going to be in a pursuit. We're running the plate. See who it's coming back registered to. Zero, zero, it's definitely not going to be them. Davis stolen Gary. Uh, stolen oh, God. It's registered to a Gary uh, Lugaski. Lugaski? I don't know. It's weird. Hate names. Um, oh, God. How are we going to stop this guy? I guess it's pretty light in the back. Well, there's stuff in it. I don't know. We'll see if we can try to pit it. If we can get under 35 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. Um, not going to call for backup yet. He is being a little bit crazy, but he's not being too bad. He had the very weird spin around thing that he did when he first saw me, which was very strange, but oh God. All right. Let's see if we can try to, uh, I want to go in for a pit. I just, it's how ah, this road is very not set up for it. Very twisty and hilly and it's blind corners. We got to do it on a flat section. 
flat, slow section. This truck is lit up. Jesus. Alright, we're going to be coming out on the main road, which is probably going to be a better road to try to pit him on. We're just going to wait. Which way are you going to try to go? I'm going to go left. Okay. Alright, spin him around. Get in front. Get in front. He's getting out. Foot chase. Foot chase. Foot chase. God damn it. Foot chase. Hit him. Hit him. Uh, God, I should have called for backup. Get the taser ready. Get the taser ready. If anybody wants to stop and help, all the people driving by, I'd appreciate it. Oh, God damn it. He's too far for the taser. Oh, God. Where is he? Get on the ground. Get down. Put your hands. Come on. Get down. Oh, really? A random pursuit going by. With CHP, that looked amazing. Alright, place him under arrest. Oh, God. Frank Nelson, definitely not the registered owner. Alright, let's work our way back to the, uh, the scene where we stopped. We're gonna search him real quick. Nothing of interest, so let's go ahead and get him all the way back over here. We're just gonna run. He should be able to hop back over here. Right? Yeah, he should. We gotta get back to the van before it disappears. And to our car, which is somewhere. Probably. Hopefully in front of this SUV. Yep, there it is. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and put him in the back. And then we'll pull off onto the side of the road here. And uh, deal with everything. Alright. Frank Nelson. We're going to run that name. See if he has any warrants. And he does. He is wanted by the Los Santos Sheriff's Department. So, definitely going to be going to jail for his already active warrant for possession of a stolen vehicle. And we're going to search this vehicle as well just to confirm that there's nothing in it that he shouldn't be in possession of. Because if there's anything in it, he was the last person to be in this vehicle. It's his possession, so... A fire extinguisher. A little weird. From the driver's side. Can we search the back? Is that, is that going to be possible? There we go. And a packet of Redwood cigarettes. Maybe he was smoking in the van and he was concerned about it burning down or something. And a phone book. Nothing of interest at all inside that vehicle. So we're going to call a tow truck. Come tow the vehicle. We're going to work our way back towards the city area. We're pretty far out in the middle of nowhere, so we're going to work our way back towards a, the uh, at least some part of the city, and uh, we'll continue to uh, drive around, look for violations, or uh, wait for a call-out. Alright, we just got a call of an assault. We're right around the corner, so we're going to go ahead and respond to that code 2. Try to get to this literally a block away so we'll go ahead and try to figure out what's happening over here and uh we'll sort out who we need to go after oh god where's the person that called it in where are they they are there they are here we go all right let's go ahead and have a chat with the witnesses and the uh suspect and victim and everything and try to figure out what's happening here Oh, officer, thank God you're here. The man left just before you got here. I was walking down the street, and he came up to me. He started yelling things like, I love you. It was really creepy. I told him to screw off and leave me alone, and he walked away. All of a sudden, he jumped on me and started hitting me. Uh, this nice guy here rescued me and chased him off. The guy ran off, but said he would be back. Be careful, officer. I think he had a weapon. Okay, so that's her side of the story. Let's go ahead and talk to the witness here. Hold on a sec. What is the witness holding in his hand? He is holding a big ass. What is that? Dude. You got a huge gun. That's not good. All I saw was him chasing her and uh, her telling him to fuck off. The guy tried to grab her, uh, so I got pushed back. I told him, relax, dude, walk away. Kind of stupid in hindsight, I guess. But you hit a woman and you deserve to get what you get. Uh, I think that's him coming back to the scene. I'll give you a statement if you want. Okay. So this is the guy right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just, I'm 
believe in their stories, uh, but I want to hear what he is. Both of theirs kind of uh, collaborated, so we'll see. Uh, he said, uh, I could have wa walked away at any moment or something like that was the first one. Uh, when I saw you pull up, I had to come back. I haven't gotten anything to hide, sir. I come back to speak with you personally. I just wanted to make sure you got the truth. Someone has to show her that she can't just make stuff up. I was screaming. Uh, she was screaming that I threatened her with a knife. Uh, you can check me. I don't have a weapon. So we are going to go ahead and search him what? just to make sure he doesn't have a weapon. We want to make sure that he's clean. We are also going to uh, get an ID from him. And we'll search his name real quick just to make sure he doesn't have any warrants or anything like that. All right. So he is actually wanted by the LS uh, Sheriff's Department, Los Santos Sheriff's Department. So we're going to be placing him in cuffs. Nope. 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 Get the freaking... Ah! God damn it. Stupid. Freaking. Oh, I hate foot pursuits so much. Foot pursuits are the actual worst. Stay on the ground. Get down. Don't you freaking run. I swear to God. You wanted to come back and tell me the truth about the assault? I definitely don't believe you. You were more than likely going to get arrested anyway because both their story lined up. Your story did not. You didn't really even tell me a story. You just came back and said, I want to tell you my side. And then that was it. You didn't even explain to me what happened. So, and he has an active warrant. So he's definitely going to be going to jail uh, for his active warrant. I am going to talk to everybody else here just to confirm that they are not uh, wanted. Can I... Ooh, nope. Can I... Uh, there we go. Go ahead and get your ID real quick. Alright, so he's in the back of the vehicle. Why am I all of a sudden... Invincible or invisible to my vehicle? Alright, Kate Johnson. This is the... Uh, this is the victim. Valid, no warrants. Why can I walk through my car all of a sudden? I don't understand that. So, uh, she's going to be clean and free to go. Everything's checking out. I'm going to check out this guy just because, um, he is holding a weapon. And, I mean, yeah, sure, he did do the right thing and stopped a assault. So, I'm just going to make sure he's not wanted or anything. Um, just to make sure he's not a wanted person with a gun. That wouldn't be very good. So, um, yeah, he's free to go. She's free to go. I am going to search this guy real quick, though. I just want to make sure that he's uh, actually good and is, you know, come on. There we go. Uh, okay, yep, nothing of interest. Just issue him a warning so he can get going. I think that's everything, right? He's going to... Yeah, he's going to jail. God, it is really heating up in here. Jesus. Since I've started recording, I swear it's raised about 10 degrees. That is crazy. Oh, okay. So, he's going to jail. Both of them are free to go. The victim and the uh, witness, they're both free to go. He's going to go to jail for the assault and for his uh, current act of warrant that he had. And taking off, resisting arrest. So, get... Get out of my way, dude. I don't have time for your bullshit. All right. So he's going to go to jail. We're going to go out back on patrol and uh, see what else we can come across. All units, we've got a suspicious person in uh, La Mesa. Respond code 2. Okay, so we have a report of a suspicious male. Name is uh, Jason Statham. Seems legit. And is old. Which is even more legit. I don't know what's going on. Seems legit. All right, so we're going to go over there. Suspicious person. It originally came in as a call of a homeless person, but then the radio said suspicious person. And we have a name of the person, and their only description is that they're old. So not really sure what that's about. That's a little strange. Not sure how you would get the name of somebody, but not a better description than just old. I don't know. That seems very strange. 
But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and just respond to this and see if we can try to figure out what's happening here. No other reports other than just homeless, suspicious person named Jason, Jason Statham. So, <laughs> not really sure what's happening, but we're going to try to figure it out. Okay, he should be... Yep, there he is, standing in the middle of the road. Trying to figure out what's happening here. We're not going to get too close. We're going to stop a little bit, take our gun out, just to make sure. This is odd that someone is standing in the middle of the road. We're just going to approach him. That person looks drunk as hell. Hello, sir. How are you? Ooh! No, 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 no. Oh. Stop. Stop. Oh, God. He had a freaking broken bottle on him. Give up, dude. Put it down. There you go. Get on the ground. Jesus. I could have shot him. But, I mean, really? Am I going to shoot a homeless man in the street? I'm going to shoot Jason Statham homeless in the street? It's clearly, I mean, I've, I mean, maybe he's having trouble finding movies. I'm not really sure. Maybe he's trying to go to Grapeseed. Who knows? But that was weird. Just standing in the middle of the road with a broken bottle, ready to shank somebody with it. Not sure why, but oh, God damn it. All right. Go ahead and uh, breathalyze him real quick. No blood in his system. So he hasn't been drinking. We're going to run his name just to see what... Uh, if he actually has any warrants or anything like that. Jason Statham. Uh, uh, no warrants. So I'm not really sure what's going on. But he's going to go to jail for uh, attacking me with a broken bottle. That is definitely a no-no. And uh, I think that's going to be it. Attack on a police officer pretty much. Um, so... Yeah, that's going to be the end of that. Prisoner transport's here. So, we're going to let the prisoner transport take them, and then we will take one more call out before we go ahead and end this episode. All units, citizens report a possible burglary in Pillbox Hill. All right, we've got reports of a burglary in progress. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the details real quick. So... Female RP reports that she came home to find the front door open and heard someone moving around inside. The front door is damaged and appears to be a, appears to be kicked in. RP is on scene awaiting police arrival. Approach with caution. Um, and it looks like we have some backup showing up too. So we're going to go ahead and head over there, code 3, and uh, try to help this lady out. All right, we're a couple blocks away. Should be there any minute. All right, showing up on scene now. Where is she going to be? There she is. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, flip around here. Set up our car. All right, we're going to wait for backup to get here. So this is uh, just to give you guys while we wait for backup a brief... I'm sorry, wait. That's supposed to be the... There we go. This is supposed to be the... Uh, the reporting person. Oh, thank God, officer, you're here. I came home a few minutes ago and went to unlock my door. I found it was already open and the, lo the lock had been damaged. I don't know what... I don't know what had happened at first. Then I peeked through the door and I heard someone moving around inside. I was so scared I just ran here and called 911. I live alone, officer. I think someone has broken in. Please, I need you to go inside for me. I'm so scared right now. So, yeah. Um, since this... Since I've done this last, I've actually talked with um Delph 22 about uh he saw the video on the last episode of the burglary that i saw and uh a couple things have been changed um the backup will now actually uh respond a little bit quicker or at least there'll be a button to make it so they can just appear here instantly 
Um, they also actually do something now. They walk around with their guns up and out and ready and everything compared to just kind of walking around. Um, I am not on that newest version. I think I might have it downloaded, but I don't think I installed it. So there has been some improvements to this mod since the last time we saw it and since, you know, the time you'll see it now whenever the backup shows up. Um, but uh, yeah, so he went through and made all the improvements and I was thinking that weren't going to be the best. Um, that I didn't really like, which is pretty cool. So now some of the things are a little more refined. Um, but like I said, I have I don't have that installed currently, so it's going to be uh, the old style. But at least whenever it comes out, you'll be able to see the old style compared to uh, what it will be by the time it's released. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, come on, guys. I don't have all day. All right, let's go clear this house. Control E. Go inside. All right, shit. we're going to go ahead and clear the house. This is going to be, let's do first person. I think we did that last time. It worked out pretty well. All right, clear. Stupid. Guys, can you, guys, hell? guys, please. All right, Jesus. All right, looks like it's clearing the living room, clearing the kitchen. Oh my God, <laughs> I just killed him. Oh, oops. Um, yeah, so there was somebody in there and I killed him. Uh, ensure that I question the suspect. Yeah, yeah, excuse me, sir. What were you doing in that building? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're going to go ahead and end the call out here because um, I had a pure panic moment and just hit that dude right in the head and killed him. So that's pretty unfortunate, but uh, yeah, that's what happens. Uh, I didn't think he was going to be in the living room, to be honest, around that building, but... <laughs> Whoops. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next time. Just going to kind of see how, see what feels right. Maybe Park Ranger has been a little while since we've done something like that. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, I might make a little bit of a couple changes to my vehicles. Uh, we'll see. Um, but nonetheless, all the mods that I'm using in this video will be linked in the description. Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.